Hey guys, I'm Gringo J and today the business is the third conditional. I already talked about the other conditionals in my other videos. You can watch those to get a better understanding. The zero conditional talks about facts and rules and frequencies. The first conditional talks about probable futures. The second conditional talks about improbable futures. And the third conditional I quite often refer to as the impossible condition because it doesn't talk about futures, it talks about the past. Specifically, it talks about something that didn't happen in the past. Let's talk about the usage. It's quite a formal structure and you'll find it in written English. Um, orators and presenters often use it because it's quite elegant. And we use it to express that something in the past didn't happen or what you would have done in that situation. I'll give you an example. If I had known you were here, I would have waited. So on this side you're going to use an if clause followed by the past perfect, which is had and then the third form of the verb or the past participle. If I had known you were here, on this side you're going to use modal perfect, which is a modal verb, usually would or could, followed by have. Modal verbs automatically imply a future, a possible future, a future that hasn't happened but has a possibility. When you put have after the modal verb here, it automatically implies the past. Let's talk about pronunciation. If I'd studied, I would have passed. Native speakers often contract the pronoun and had and that becomes I'd. And on this side, they often contract would and then have, would have. If I had known you were here, I would have waited. If I'd studied medicine, I could have been a doctor. Take a look at some native speakers uttering these phrases. Had we not done that, the world would not have responded in the same way. Had we not done that, the world would not have responded in the same way. If I had known it was you, I would never have said those things. If I had known it was you, I would never have said those things. Okay, so that's the third conditional. Hope you enjoyed the tip. Till the next one, ciao for now.